conclusion of this study is that metformin has a direct effect on improving endothelial function in polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS. Specifically, it had an effect for those women who have abnormal endothelial function to start with. My name is Alice Chang, and I am an assistant professor in the Department of Medicine, Division of Endocrinology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm discussing an article published in the December 2019 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings entitled, The Effect of Metformin on Microvascular Endothelial Function in Polycystic Ovary Syndrome. PCOS is a condition of androgen excess, or testosterone-like hormone excess, and irregular or anovulatory periods. There is also a strong association with cardiovascular risk factors and insulin resistance that could increase the risk for diabetes. This study highlights that there can be many different presentations of PCOS, and in this case, not all women had abnormal endothelial function or blood vessel responsiveness that is associated with cardiovascular disease. Metformin is an important treatment in PCOS that can help improve insulin sensitivity, increase ovulation, and prevent the development of diabetes. However, it might not work the same for all women. Here, we show that the ones who had the most significant response in endothelial function had abnormally low endothelial function to start with. And this was not related to changes in glucose, blood pressure, weight, or cholesterol levels. So there could be a direct effect of metformin improving endothelial function as early as three months after starting the medication. Mayo Clinic is fortunate to have access to this test of endothelial function as a clinical test. So this tool is often used to screen and follow response to treatment in patients with heart disease. Future studies might show how we could use this test not only in PCOS, but in other conditions associated with greater cardiovascular risk factors. This could then help patients and providers make decisions about treatments. This study underscores the importance of individualizing or personalizing the care of patients with PCOS as not all patients carry this higher risk for heart disease. We hope you enjoy reading the full article and thanks for listening. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.